I was talking about ladies, you do a lot of things, okay, when you enter into a new relationship and you think that it's different, but you're really actually doing the same things that you were doing in the last relationship, which, you know, causes you to go around around this mountain. So some of you said, well, Doc, please tell us. In all of your pseudo wisdom, what is it that we should be doing? Okay, what are these things? Well, I'm so glad that you asked, and I comprised a wonderful list of what I consider red flags that many of you ignore and you continue on um, to your own peril. All right, the first one is, okay, if you're with a guy, and this guy is always busy, OK, um, there's a problem there, ladies, and that's a red flag. Let me tell you something. I understand being busy. I understand having a lot to do. You kind of do want a guy that's got some things going on. But listen, let me tell you something. If you're just now getting this relationship going in, in a relationship, new one needs to breathe. Right. Um, and he's always saying, I got to do this. I got to, you know, hang out with the guys. I got to go see my mama. I got to do that. Listen, let me tell you something. There are some guys out there that after working 12 hour days, on somebody's roof somewhere. Come on. Where it's hot. Yes, sir. Okay. And this ain't their first day. They've been working back to back to back. And they are tired. I mean, they dead be tired. And you know what? You couldn't even blame them for wanting to go home and lay it down. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? They say, I will come over and I would rather fall asleep watching TV in your lap. Not just yet. to be around you, okay, rather just to go home by myself because I'm into this thing that much, okay? Now, I do understand that some guys' love language is quality time, okay? For those of you who don't know much about, you know, the love languages, you know, go get that book and check that out. But what I'm saying is, even if that's not his love language, he will care enough about you that he will say, you know, that's her thing, you know what I'm saying? She likes when we all boot up and whatnot, so I'm going to go over here and do this, whatever, you know? So if you got a guy that... It's giving you nothing but excuses. Ladies, that is a red flag because you know what? Relationships need time. You have to spend time together. You have to talk. You have to, you know what I'm saying, get to know each other. All right. So listen, that's the first red flag. Okay. Now, if everything in the relationship is your fault, that's a huge red flag. Let me say this, ladies. Nobody's perfect. Okay, I get that. Nobody's perfect. Yes, please share this with your your followers because um, somebody needs this on tonight. All right. Nobody's perfect. But if you're with a guy that no matter what happens, it's always your fault. The only reason I did this is because you made me. Okay. You know, I wouldn't have blanked if you had not have. Okay. See, that's somebody who's playing the victim. All right, ladies. And when a guy's playing the victim, normally that means he has some very deep wounds that he has not dealt with. OK. And here's the thing. You somebody say, yeah, he's bipolar. He might be. But you are typically not going to be the one to fix the problem. All right. Why? Because he sees you as part of the problem. OK, so if he sees you as just another person that's trying to take advantage of him, he sees you as just another person that's trying to hurt him. You are not going to get through to him. But here's what a lot of here's what a lot of ladies do is you allow him to get in your head because these people tend to be very manipulative and you allow him to make you feel like you're crazy. OK, like there really is something wrong with you. So then you start changing and modifying. You're like, well, you know, maybe I could do this a little bit different. And I'm talking about sometimes even my CEO, very strong, you know, what I'm saying um, about their business sisters can fall prey to this. All right. And you start looking at yourself all weird. And then you start to change so much that you don't even know who you are anymore. OK, trying to please some dude who, first of all, ain't even worth your time, ain't even worth, the, you know, breathing your oxygen. But anyway, if you come across somebody like this, ladies, please do me a favor. Run as fast as you possibly can in the opposite direction. OK. All right. We're going to keep it moving. All right. So the next one is. There's no discussion, ladies, of any future long term plans in the relationship. OK, here's what we know about women. Whether you ask this question or not, okay, most women are thinking this, all right, if you really want to be in a relationship, where is this going? Okay, see, most of y'all are not just out here just for grins and giggles. Now, I understand that some of you just came out of a situation and you're not really ready to jump right into something serious. But if you are ready for love and marriage and all of that, you're, you know, dating somebody, you want to know where is this going? What are his plans? 
And if he's one of these dudes, it's like, you know what I'm saying? I like to live in the moment, you know what I mean? Because the moment, you know what I'm saying, we start talking about what we doing and all that, you know what I'm saying? It just throws the vibe off. It's like, sir, sir, okay, there's nothing about vibing that, you know, uh, it has anything to do with, you know, marriage and a house and, you know, wh where we're going to see each other, you know, how in the next five years. Right. So if a guy does not want to talk about these things, then he has a serious um, allergy to long term commitment. All right. And you need to run as fast as you can in the opposite direction. Now, I do get it. Some guys, when you ask them this question, where is it going? It does freak them out a little bit, you know, because then they start to feel kind of like pressure. OK, I get that. But at the same time, he needs to at least be dropping some hints. Even if y'all just met each other, he should be talking about what his plans are. He might not know if you're the one that's going to fit into those plans. But at least you know that this is a guy that's going somewhere and is trying to do something. All right. So next one is mm, this is a good one. I hear this a lot with uh, my clients. If he's still interacting with his ex. My God. Oh, I sound like a nerd. If he's still interacting with his ex and they ain't got no kids. That's right. I said they ain't got no kids. My okay, head. together. All right. Or he has these female friends that he ain't even thinking about introducing you to. Listen, look at this here. Does, you, you see that? Get get that position right there. You see what that look like? That got, got run written all over. Mm hmm. Okay. Because I'm going to tell you. That's a problem because here's what's going to happen. And, and and I'm not even saying necessarily that him and the ex got something going on because you do legitimately hear and y'all may even have this um, experience yourself. OK, you say, you know, me and my ex, we were horrible when we were together. But when we broke out, broke up, we became the best of friends. And that's cool. But if you're in a relationship with somebody, all they got to do is just introduce you and be like, hey, this is uh you know, my new girlfriend or whatever, you know, grownups call each other nowadays because I'm married. So um, and say, you know, this is so and so I want you to meet, you know, she and I were very close. I mean, she's been my, my home girl for whatever. And, you know, anybody that I'm really serious about, I like to introduce them to. You know what I'm saying? That's that's appropriate. So nobody's feeling weird and awkward because it's really a recipe for disaster. OK, in this new relationship, how can you not feel jealous? You don't really know where you fit, you know, where you belong. You know, what I'm saying I still trying to fill each other out. And then you feel like you contending with an ex. A guy shouldn't put you in that type of situation. All right. He shouldn't even want you to feel all weird about that. Right. All right. So like I said, that is a red flag. All right. All right. So next, if you got a guy and I'm talking about the first night, OK, that y'all hook up, not hook up necessarily, get together, but y'all talking. He want to talk about sex right out the gate, how many positions, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's getting raw. Now, let me say something. I, I know my clients, y'all grown women, okay? Y'all grown women, and y'all can do whatever y'all want to do. You ain't got to ask your mom or no dad for your permission. I get all of that, all right? So I understand the conversation may take some different turns and twists, right? All right, but here's the deal. You, you are more than body parts, OK, and I understand. Let's keep it all the way. One hundred. You know, women, y'all get the monkey on your back and it gets hard and it gets rough and y'all be, you know, Ugh. so I, I'm not trying to sell it like it's not. But I'm just saying if we go right there, I mean, I've had so many of my clients, you know, you talk about online dating. And you like, listen, we can't talk about nothing before this dude starts to, you know, Asking for pics and all this kind of stuff. Listen, listen. OK, if he doesn't have enough wherewithal to realize, first of all, you're the diamond. Something about a diamond is it wants to be treated special. OK, and just being looked at as a body part, a butt, some boobs. You know what I mean? Yeah. OK, you got those, but that ain't you. All right. That's a part of you. All right. Run. Yeah, just 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 run. All right. So next one. If. <laughs> okay. If this guy has a convenient tragedy that he needs help with. My God. <laughs> like, so you're talking to the guy, right? And you 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 get one of these. Frank. Ah, ah, ah. You're like, what, 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 what? Oh, uh, nothing. They just said if I don't have a thousand dollars by the night, they're gonna kick me out of my apartment. But that's all right. What was we talking about? Listen. listen all right sir listen you be blessed and uh because i'm trying to tell you 
for those of you and don't y'all act like you don't do it y'all be ready to give him the thousand dollars because okay you, you're like, okay, I, I like this guy. I don't want to see nothing happen to him. Now, I ain't talking about somebody you met that night, okay? I'm talking about maybe somebody you've been, you know, a couple of weeks or whatever. Listen, let me, let me tell you how real dudes do it, right? All right. He, a real guy, he would prefer to be on the street trying to find some place, you know, to go hook up with a partner or buddy or whatever before he even wants you to know he has that need. I know guys who women have tried to give them money, okay? They needed the money. This, I mean, they had real issues. They had real, for real, legitimate issues. And they was like, listen, no, I don't, I don't even do this. I don't even, no, I don't, I don't want, no, I'm good. I'll, I'll handle it. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll make it happen. So if you're with a guy who seems like he's got, because he, see, the manipulative dude, he ain't going to just come out straight out and just ask you for the money. OK, he's going to arrange things in such a way that he's going to play on your emotions. OK, and then you being the giver that you are, the caring person that you are, the God fearing person that you are, you a team player. All right. And so you want to get in and help. Don't do it. Don't don't do it, because I can't tell you how many clients I've had out of a thousand, out of two thousand, out of three thousand. And all they got to show for it is they just mad and pissed off. OK, so run. All right. All right. The next one is if he does not like you going on his Facebook page. Um, yeah, yeah. I thought I heard something. If he doesn't like you going on his Facebook page. OK, because he says, listen, every time you go on my Facebook page, it creates drama. OK, you see me, you see a picture with me and somebody and you automatically think you know, it's something, it's a situation, and I'm trying to tell you it's not, you know, then we get into this big thing. So I'm like, no, don't go on my page, all right? Here's the deal. If you're dating this guy, you know, I ain't talking about somebody you just met, right? But, you know, y'all been together for a little while, and he's going to tell you not to go on his How can he tell you not to go on his page, okay? I mean, we're talking about communication. We're talking about understanding. If there's a picture with you on your page and somebody or vice versa, all you're going to say is, or all, you should be allowed to say, hey, I saw the picture with you and so, so and so, I kind of felt away, you know, and oftentimes that's just a woman saying, please reassure me. Just let me know we good. All right. But if a guy starts to saying this part of my life, you can't have access to. And then he puts it under the heading of because it causes too many problems. You know, now here's the deal, ladies. Now, some of my diamonds in Team Diamond can wild out, can go plum crazy. OK, so if you one of those, no, now he may be legitimately saying, listen, you didn't slash tires. You didn't broke out windows. You didn't, you know, showed up in my job. OK, you need to come all the way down. OK, because God's nowhere to be found in that. OK, so get it together. All right. But for all the other people that's halfway normal. You know what I'm saying? You should be able to go on the man's page every once and again. And he should come up, be able to come on yours, all right? So that's a red flag run if it's a problem. All right, the next one is, if a guy questions your every move, you need to get out of Dodge quick, fast, and in a hurry. Because this has controlling written all over it. See, sometimes this shows up in the beginning, and it seems to be very cute. Oh, you was jealous, wasn't you? Uh, you? It's okay. You was jealous. He was jealous. See, but it's cool then. But once it starts to become where you going, who you going with, why you wearing that, you know, what makes you think that you can do yet, yet and not. And now you can't. But listen, you better run. I'm trying to tell you because he is about to play some serious mind games with you. And for a lot of you, depending on where you at, you know, how he finds you, what vulnerable state he finds you in. And God bless my, my doormat diamonds, okay? Y'all real susceptible prey for this kind of manipulation and this kind of control. But I'm trying to tell you, run as fast as you can because that's not love, okay? That's not... Um, anybody caring for you and even don't even get so twisted and think, oh, it's so cute. You je-. No, what's, what's cute about jealousy? 
You know what I'm saying? There's nothing really cute about that, okay? So, all right, moving right along. All right. If, uh, oh, last-minute date requests. If a guy wants to pop up at the last minute to ask you out on a date, um, that's not really cool. Okay, because let's let's think about this. Let's think about this 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 diamond concept, right? Okay, it's a beautiful diamond. Now with diamonds, you know, do you just kind of throw diamonds anywhere, you know, uh under the bed or you know, in a drawer? No. The diamond is very special and it has a very special place and you know, it's kind of set up on a pedestal. Why? Because of it's, it's of great value. So if a guy treats you like he can just call you up at the last minute and then expect you to, you know, jump. OK, that's not treating you like the person that you are now. Let me say this possibly in his defense. He might have been used to doing that in his previous relationships. So sometimes you have to teach a person how to treat you. Right. So you let him know, um, you know, sweetheart, dear, whatever y'all call each other, boo, bae, whatever. You know, I don't like that that doesn't make me feel special when you do that so i like when you set up the date you know you plan it all out and whatnot you know i feel like a girly girl and all that you know but now if you tell him that and he still wants to hit you up on the last minute then he's letting you know exactly you know what he thinks about you and he's not valuing you so that'd be a situation that maybe you need to do an about face and go in the opposite direction all right the last one that i have ladies is if a guy is a no show for dates my God. Now, y'all, some of my some of my CEO sisters, y'all already, you know, rubber necking and I wish you would, you know, but I'm trying to tell you there are my beautiful diamonds that will go for this because here's, here's how it goes. You all dressed up. You ready to go about to go. Out. You're supposed to be there at eight or go out at eight. OK, eight rolls around. No him. Eight oh five, eight ten, eight fifteen, eight thirty. What's going on? You even hit him up. Hey, everything all right? No response. No response. So now you mad, hurt, disappointed, you know, the full range of emotions. The next day, this joker hit you up out the blue like, hey, what's up? That's all you got. So what's up? You don't want to come in with a, you're like, yeah, Um, what happened last night? It was crazy, right? So Carl, he called me, right? Like it was early in the day, right? And so he said he need help with the th this thing he was working on. So I say, all right, man, I'll help you. So then next thing I know, so much time has passed and, you know, we trying to get it together. I, compl I mean, it just completely slipped my mind that, you know, we were supposed to go out because then after that, he and I, you know, we went, you know, and grabbed a couple of, you know, and then next thing I know, it's like, oh, it's, no, no, who, who forgets? You're supposed to take somebody out. OK, and here's the deal. Text message, even if you don't call, you you know, you say, hey, listen, I'm sorry. I know we're supposed to. But, you know, if you forget a date that let if, if somebody can forget they're supposed to take you out that a date they set up that lets you know how much of, of a priority you are not in their lives okay and it's very even hurtful to even have to give that scenario but it happens all the time okay now and some of y'all here that's listening to me it might have happened to y'all or might be happening to y'all but let me let me say this now, if I've gone through my long list of red flags, right, and for some of y'all, you know, this is like happening right now. I mean, you know, some of them, two, three, four, five, six of them, you know, that's that's you right now. OK, and in all honesty, you know, you shouldn't be settling for it. But if you want to keep it really 100, you don't feel like you have the strength or the power to pull out of the situation, you know, that you're in, that you're dealing with. Of course, you wouldn't, you know, admit that, you know, in front of mixed company. Right. But you just really feel like you can't. You don't know what to do. OK, so here's what I'm about to do for you. Give you an open invitation. Hit me up for, you know, the free consultation. All right. Because we need to find out what in the world is going on that has you so locked up, bound, OK, that you can't take your grown self and get out of a situation that you don't have no business being in, where you're being disrespected, you're being unappreciated, OK, you're being taken for granted. 
that shouldn't be the case. All right. And then once we identify that, then we can see how coaching can and will help you to get healed and move on. OK, now for my other group, you know, what I'm saying this was confirmation for y'all. Y'all already know. All right. I need to be out of this situation. I should have been gone. OK, thank you, Holy Spirit. I appreciate you. I'm out. I'm gone. I'm done. All right. So if this was confirmation for you, do what you need to do. All right. And do an about face and get out of the relationship. All right. So listen. That's um, Doc Reed's red flags on what you should be looking for if you're doing them. And I'm trying to tell you, you can't listen, ladies. Y'all good for second and third and fourth and fifth and sixth and seventh and a hundred chances. OK, and you'll be sitting here two years from now. OK, looking at the same situation. All right. That the Holy Ghost told you about My that God. your little that went off. OK, and that'll be the very thing that you will have left his behind for. All right. If wow. you actually leave him, maybe he leaves you. All right. So listen, um, now, you know, for me, this is what I enjoy. This is my favorite part of the service, um, which is when I asked Lexi if she can put, you know, my very uh, clinical sterile commentary in her sister girlfriend vernacular that really resonates with all my team diamond members out there. So Lex, you know, because you faded us last week because your schedule was so crazy and you had some real legitimate things going on that you couldn't do this. But um, is there something that you could do where you could bless the mic and the people right now? You know what I mean? Not just real really. quick, I just think, five minutes, two minutes, whatever. I just something just to bless the people tonight. I, I think you said it all. There's oh, no, come on. No, no. Come on. Turn that camera around, girlfriend. Let's go. There's nothing Let's to go. talk about. There it is. Say. Lexi, the one thing I know about you, you always got something to say. Really? I mean, that. I, that's a compliment. I'm sorry. Wow. Okay. You always have something to trying to tell me there was none of those that resonated in your holy ghost praise the lord saints oh Thanks. come on i said praise the lord saints oh come on praise ah, yeah come on praise the lord now that would be good if it was just for me but i'm talking about oh, the king on, of kings on. and the lord of lords praise yeah, the yeah, lord yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> What's up? I really don't have anything to say tonight. I think uh the red flags are periscope. How do you do that? What? I think I think I think it's really important that you follow what he said. I mean, anything I say is going to be uh a copy of what of what he said. I don't have no new way of saying it. Follow the red flags. If I had followed the red flags early on when I was like really 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 like in our other tours of duty that that Chris and I have had together I would have eliminated a lot of time wasted with these fools I spent a lot of time with some niggas that didn't really have my best interest at heart I, did, I thank you said Lexi you look beautiful God bless you if if I had paid attention I always Chris, I always listen to you. I listen to everything you said. But because, ladies, I was a little stuck in my ways a little bit. And, and, and I listened to what he said and I implemented what he said. But there were times where I slipped and went back. And every time I slipped and went back to what Chris didn't tell me to do, I lost time. I wasted time with a nigga that I ended up not dating anymore anyway. I'm tell I, when I tell you we do these relationship scopes so that you can eliminate. Remember, Domino's had a uh, uh, um, uh, uh, they had an advertising, they had a campaign called "Avoid the Noid." Remember the Noid? He looked like a rabbit, but he was weird, and it just like <laughs> you can avoid the Noid and save precious time. If you cut these niggas off at the past, now we're not teaching you to be ridiculous and over the top and everything you see, you ask them a couple questions and then you run. We're not doing that. We're saying a healthy balance of being cute, going out, and after some time, if a nigga ain't talking about his dreams and hopes and aspirations and where his life is going and what he wants in the next couple years, and that he wants a relationship or, you know, that he wants to get married in the next few years. Not saying that you have to bring it up. Chris was saying that if he's not talking about it, y'all done been out for, for a few months, you know, 
and he's he never talks about it ever. He never talks about his life. It's not that you ask, but he never talks about it. Let me tell you something. If you're over the age of, of 30, ain't nobody got time for that uh -uh. to be dating you. If you're over the age of 30, ain't nobody got time to be dating you, sir, for seven years for you to figure out whether you like me or not. Whether, 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 whether you could, you know what I'm saying? Whether we could have a future. I ain't got seven years for you to figure it out. No, sir. No, sir. If you're old, now when you're 20, you can do whatever you want to do, baby. When you 19, you can turn cartwheels. You can have ice cream. You can go and, and, and go get ice cream cones and go to Red Lobsters and have some scrump. And you can think you're doing something. You can go to the movies and hold hands. And you can take this person, that person, this person, that person. But if you over 30... Oh, and God forbid, if you have a couple kids, and you done lived a little bit of life, and you done been disappointed, and you done got yourself together, ain't nobody got six years, sir, for you to figure out what you want. Ain't nobody got time for it. I'm not saying, now, now, let's not be ridiculous. Those of us who got a good man, you don't come in the first day tomorrow, so what are your intentions? <laughs> Yo, you want to marry me? I mean, what? It, it, no, that's not what we're doing. That's not what we're doing. That's not healthy. It doesn't make sense. But I'm saying you've been dating for months. He, he you know, he digging you, y'all, and you done been over his place, and you didn't, you didn't met a couple of his friends, and you know things are going well, and all of that stuff. And he is not talking anything. And what, what you say, Chris, about what? Maybe about four months. Yeah, what do you say? About you, four you months? Know by four months. You know about really four months. Somebody. I mean, you know before that, but yeah, four months. And y'all talking every day, let's yeah. just say, almost every day. You know, may, even give it six months. But if the nigga ain't said nothing in six months and y'all been dating heavy, then six months and ain't nobody talking about nothing. He ain't said nothing. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. I'm just talking about it. I'm talking about those that are over 30. I'm talking about those that have lived life. I'm, I'm, I'm just talk, I'm just I'm just saying because ain't nobody got time for it because in that time Creflo Dollar even said ask the questions <laughs> ask the questions where your mama live where where I mean I'm just saying you taking up my time I'm taking up your time you're calling my phone you're 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 wanting to take me out you wanted to feed me amen oh and that you know convenient excuses and all of that I can't I've ran across a lot of that Oh, people got convenient excuses, convenient issues that they come up with, and then they 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 slip it in. It ain't overt, like like you know, like how Chris said it. It's real slick. It comes over time. Oh my God, man, that's so crazy. What? What happened today, man? Nothing. No, what happened today, man? It's crazy. I mean, it's just had a crazy day. But what's up with you, man? Nothing. No, it's it's all good. Man, it's just crazy, dog. I promise you. I'm just my life, man. Sometimes, you know, being a black man out here, man, it's tough. That And they work that thing. They work it until you you don't even see it coming. You don't hear it coming because y'all have had such great conversations. You've been dealing so great for, for a long period of time. You get bamboozled and you don't know that you're getting bamboozled. These niggas are slick. That's all I'm saying. And so you got to watch out for yourself, huh? Keep your wallet, amen, by your side, amen. Keep your purse, amen, praise God. I liked everything you said. Nigga, as soon, soon as he meets you, so what that booty do? What that booty talking about? I mean, I'm just saying, you know, you know, you looking all good, that booty all big and everything. You know, I like what you was giving off, you know. You sexy, you got this sexy thing on, you know what I'm saying? Every time you lick your lips, I be like, oh, be like, you know, you know, I know that you into your thing. I'm into my thing and everything like that. But, you know, I'm just talking about, you know, what that thing talking about, you know, can I talk to you for a minute? I mean, you know, hey, do this, do this, do this, do this. Send me a pic. And if they're not saying it on the phone, they texting you. Pic. You be like, what? Yeah, send me that pic. What? And, you know, it's late night. You feeling it, you know, you you got that monkey on your back. You know what it is. And don't tell me, don't be on this scope line and say that you've never done it and that you've never, you've never text anybody what you weren't supposed to text. Don't do it. Oh, come on now. Don't you, don't you do it. Come don't you now. sit it now. Now, for those of you 
who are, are, are holier than thou. Yeah, I ain't never did it. I don't, I don't do that. Uh, uh, uh. Or they started off and they send you a dick pic. Boop. I said it. <laughs> oh, the saints know. Y'all ain't that say. Y'all ain't that say. And it don't always go down in the DM, baby. I ain't talking about the DM. I'm talking about right there on your phone. Right there on your phone. They sent it first to kick it off. All right. Y'all act like y'all know what I'm talking about. And I know I know what I'm talking about. I deal with the saints every day. I'm a pastor's kid. I know what I'm saying is right. Because the pastors be sending it. It's quiet. Ain't no hearts going up. Niggas don't want to hear the truth. That's all right. That's all right. Because somebody act like I'm speaking in other tongues. So it's all right. Because somebody going to get free. They set you up for the okie doke. They put themselves out there. Right. They, they put themselves out there and they send you to pick first. I know what I'm saying is right. They send it to you first to make you well, feel comfortable. Right, let, me tell, let me give you a few amens. You definitely right. I know I'm right. You're telling the truth. Bro. They send it to you first so you can get comfortable. That's how that go. They be plotting. They got their face. First of all, they just send you a picture of it. Then they get bold with it and they, put, they, put, they may put their face in and be like, whatever. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. Before they even do that, they testing you out. They saying little stuff about it to see how you respond. And if yeah. You don't, if you don't overreact. If you don't, don't overreact, that, okay. and they putting yeah, stuff out okay. there. This is for you. This is this is what happens to me. Hello, somebody. Y'all ain't putting enough hearts on the screen. This is what happens to me every time I think about you. This is what you do to me, nigga. They didn't took that pic six months ago. And they didn't send it out to about 15. There are about 15 people that you don't know that got that same picture. Same one? Same one. You ain't special. And then do you, so do you. Do, do and you all his boys going to see you. Oh, you silly. You crazy. Boy, you crazy. Oh, wow. God. Oh, for real? That's, that's you? Wow. That's what's up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> And you said it all kinds of motor kinds and everything. Wow, that's that's. Or you you sending the eyes pic? Is that you? That's all you. That's you. Right. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah. No boo, it's the angle. You did already. It's the angle. It's the lighting. Whatever. It ain't. He ain't that fabulous. He ain't that great. But you you pumping him up. He great now. Now you done made him great. You and fifteen other women that made him great. I know I'm talking right. I know y'all don't want to hear the truth, but it's the truth anyhow. They sending pics, you sending them back. That's that's a song. They sending pics, you sending them back. So now you got your legs cocked open and you snapping. Whack, 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 whack. And you the dummy. And now you done put your face in it. Come on, Snapchat. Okay, don't worry about it. It's okay. I'm done, cause I'm it's, not. It's, it's a day. It's you know, it's a day after a holiday. Everybody's a little, you know. And you and you the dummy now, mm -hmm. because he ain't got nothing to lose. You got everything to lose. Everything to lose, and you're we're just. Not about, we know we, we're not talking about teenagers who you know. We ain't talking about teenagers. I'm talking about grown. Mature and ignorant. No, we ain't talking about teenagers that's that's immature and ignorant. We talking about grown folk like you and me. Snapping pictures of the yoo-hoos. I'm talking about you. You're going to lose every time. Because you know what he's going to do? Grown he's niggas. Gonna he's going to show somebody. He going to show somebody your pick. Uh -huh. You know why I know? Because I know that when somebody sent you a pick, you ain't show nobody. Uh -uh. You ain't show nobody. Pictures that's been sent to you. From somebody else? Oh, okay. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't sent your best friend. You ain't showed your best girl. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Somebody said I didn't. Okay. Hey, 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 okay, hey, but you ain't the only one on the scope oh, either, friend. precious. I'm just saying. You know, that's all right. I'm good. I don't want. I, I'm done. 
A lot of y'all, they, they sitting up here acting like it ain't never happened. They ain't never did it. It got real quiet. Ain't nobody got their hands you know, up talking. That's cool. That screen that's and it's good. Ever somebody could screenshot it, you know, and it's a, it's a little, it's sensitive, you know. So uh, trust and believe um, they can relate to what you're saying. Oh, I know they, I know they can relate. They be sounding off in huge numbers, but uh, I talk to women all day, every day, and trust me, they can definitely relate. And I'm talking about the saints, okay? Yeah, it's, 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 we definitely helped uh, the body of Christ to make Snapchat a wonderful number one app, okay? Come on, somebody. Uh -huh. All they saying and, is uh, stuff like, is, temptation is, is real. The, God, the women of God, you know, the cloth, is doing some interesting things, you know, and it's and it's not to throw shade or stones. It's just not hey, everybody's in the struggle trying to figure it out. So I'm just trying to tell you as it relates to this conversation, don't get played. Get played. Do not get played. Just don't get played. That's all I got to say. Those of you who don't want to admit nothing, it's all good. It's all good. They live in the flesh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Here's, a, here's a, in terms of how a woman is created, a woman is created, she's wired to be desired. So with the pics and all of that, it's not so much that a woman is excited about showing, you know, the most intimate parts of herself. It's that natural desire, you know what I'm saying, to... Uh, to be looked at and to feel special. And even though you know, okay, this is probably not the ideal way to do it, but I'm getting this attention and I'm hoping that there's something genuine about it. Okay. You know, it's a crapshoot. All right. You know that you're throwing them dice out there, but maybe as he's looking at this picture of me, you know, in my most vulnerable essence, Maybe he somehow views me as being special. Let me say this. If he views you as being special, he don't need that pic. Right. You're already special. Okay. Now, now for the group out there to say, hey, I'm grown. I do what I want to do. I already counted up the risk. I know what this is. Have hey, you do it. you. Have at it. <laughs> you do you all day long but we're talking about those who um, are wanting something different and that's not really the game that they're playing and when you um, break up won't. you can't take that picture back hey people do hey people do some really interesting things after the breakup yep you know and then you know you'll be sweating bullets like oh my god jesus christ I hope that he don't, you know what I mean? And now you like, you don't want to say too much. You don't want to buck, go too buck wild because you know he's got some things out there. Somebody said, make t-shirts. <laughs> wired to be desired. Yeah, yeah, women are wired to be desired. But you, know, you don't want to go too hard in the paint on him because you don't want him to out you, That's right. you know, and, and put the stuff out there. I mean, like I said, people get really interesting after the breakup. Yeah. Okay. Um, so <laughs> to TD Jake, is that his uh, conference, or are you saying does that TD TD Jake's conference, or are you just saying it should be? I don't know. Okay. So anywho, um, Lex, that's wonderful. See, I love how you put it. You 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 got a unique way. God gave you that. Yeah. Uh huh. Because you're gonna put that grime on it. You know what I mean? That uh, you're gonna bring it home. You know, you're gonna put it in a way that the average everyday person can understand. Okay, they they that might whether they like it can relate to it or not. They ain't gonna misunderstand what you said tonight. All right, all right. <laughs> they gonna understand. You know, they, when they hear that dick pic, this yes, I, I got that. I need a. I soldier. might not have any kind of you know from experience with that, but I understood what she meant. Yes. All right, all right, okay. All minds clear? Yes, sir. Uh huh. So listen, um, you know, any any real quick, any topics for next week? Come on, come on, come on, topics. You know, I, ugh, it's some it's some it's some real broken hearts out there right now. It's it there's some, and I mean this with all due respect. There's some serious crackhead ism going on right now in the body of christ and let me just say this if your heart is just so broken right now you don't know if you coming or going please stay encouraged okay i know when your heart is breaking or it's broken 
it feels like you are a dead person walking. It feels like the sun never shines. It feels like every song is a sad song. It feels like literally your insides are coming out. Okay. And I'm saying this because I talk to people all the time. This is happening. And I know it's a horrible place to be in, but be encouraged because, but here's my thing. Just don't go back. I would prefer that you deal with that and feel all of that so that you can do whatever you have to do not to go back there because too many of you end up right back. It's like repeat offenders. It's like, how in the world do you do five to 10 and end up coming back here? Wow. I don't get that. It's like, wow. it, you know, so you get your heart broke again and again and again. And, and, and you don't find out what it was that caused you to end up with a break. It don't feel good. It, it just don't feel good. So sometimes you end up being addicted to the dysfunction and the pain and you don't know anything different. But I don't know who I'm talking to. I know I'm talking to somebody. So, you know, do what you got to do so you don't go back to a broken heart because uh, you should really only have to deal with that maybe a couple of times in life because it's so horrible. How to real, how to, with how you feel. Is that how to deal with how you feel? Why men dangle the carrot to trap you? Are these topics? Yeah. Okay. Stay focused until he comes, topic. Okay. All right. So on the replay, I can look at these. Yeah. So if you just put them in there, y'all just go ahead and quickly put in your topic ideas. I'll look at it on the replay and um, and find something good. Okay. Okay. Wow. I think today woo got really real in here. Yes, okay. Going to have to start putting a label on these. <laughs> <laughs> an age you They're know what I'm saying? you're below hey but you know what let me say this for real these kids these kids i'm talking 12 13 14 probably even younger what we say listen they say some stuff man that make you be like are y'all seriously so yeah this this wasn't bad at all it's just real it's just real yes, so all right lex all right guys you can do benediction until next week yes god bless Thank you, you.